Hey, welcome to my review for Pokemon Journeys, episode 66, Flobia Bay's White Flower. Alright, gonna be honest, I don't really care too much about this episode. It's cool to see Go looking after his Pokemon, but I really know that he does that, so it's not really super special. Goes to Lobebe, aside from his White Flower, one evolve and they head off to Kalos to find her a new White Flower. I really do like that Go shows off that he cares about his Pokemon, even if it's not one he's shown in interacting with a lot. He takes care of it as its petal is damaged, and it's basically become Ratatouille with Flabebe pulling his hair to point out where to go. As the field where it got its flower from before is damaged, they can't replace the flower, and Go goes on a walk with Flabebe at night who can't sleep. So something I really do like about this episode is there's more location continuity. We're in Shalua City, and we get to see your Pokemon Center in the Tower of Mastery, and they're exact replicas of shots from X and Y I'm pretty sure. We also get to see Ash and Go camping in this episode, which I appreciate a lot since they usually have somewhere to stay in. And that evening, Flabebe tries to fly on its damaged flower, but before it can get hurt, Go saves it and promises that they'll get a new flower tomorrow. Quite growth from him from episode 3 her. Luckily Sakuragi hooks him up with a contact who studies flowers, and has a Florgis who makes flowers bloom. In the past, Florgis had lost her orange flower. This makes a unique bond form between the two Pokemon, and it shows off its grassy terrain. They learn about where some white flowers are and the boys are off. After searching, they can't find any, but Flobebe pulls back to some pink flowers that night, and the moon gleams. They bloom into white flowers, which call back to Flobebe where he can go up at night the previous two nights. They also witness another Flobebe pick up his flower for the first time, leaving one flower left. Learning from Florgis, Flobebe uses grassy terrain, and it causes it to evolve into Floette, and it helps more white flowers bloom. Go realises something he has to do. Floette wants to stay behind to protect the flower field, and wanting to do what's best for his Pokemon, he parts ways with it and releases it so it can create its own garden. And well, for a Pokemon we don't really get to see much of, this is a pretty decent release. Okay, I feel like this episode would have been a lot better if we cared for Flobebe beforehand, he just caught it at the end of episode 25 and then this is its first real appearance since. That being said, it does a decent job to get you acquainted with Flabebe, and buy into its little problem even if it's sort of a dull premise. We do know that Go takes care of his Pokemon, but it's always nice seeing his growth. In episode 3 he wanted to leave an Ivysaur that appeared to be struggling to let it sort it out by itself. In the Farewell Reboot episode, he didn't get why Reboot was acting distant and eventually realised. And then here he was helping from the get go, and doing his best to make sure it could get another flower. Again, but location continuity is always appreciated. And I think this episode debuted some new music for the series for the first time, which I do love, but you know, I mean, even if it isn't new, I still love it anyway. Anyway, I don't think this episode really does anything bad, but I just wasn't super invested into it, to be honest. 